Narcissism has a dramatic effect on any relationship, but it can be particularly tricky with a romantic partner. The narcissist has an unhealthy self-image, and as a result, they are focused on getting other people to provide them with ego-boosting adoration called narcissistic supply. To do that, they learn to manipulate people in order to control them. When you discover that your boyfriend is a narcissist, you have to take steps to protect yourself from his abusive behavior. No name-calling. This one is genuinely a two-way street. It means you will not put up with him calling you names, but you will also refrain from calling him names. That means don't label him as a narcissist or toxic or abusive. Likewise, he should not call you any names. Instead, you should address each other respectfully. You can argue about something without resorting to calling the other person some derogatory name. When you start doing that, you put them on the defensive for reasons other than what the topic of the argument is about. It does little good and causes the argument to become more about personalities than it is about whatever you're talking about. It reduces the argument to its basest form. If your boyfriend begins to belittle you by calling you names, simply let him know this is unacceptable and you won't talk to him anymore until he can talk to you with respect. You probably have to enforce this boundary a few times before it takes, but if you're persistent, you can get him to modify his behavior. This can help you to be better at resolving your differences in a healthier way. That's the goal for saving the relationship. Be consistent in enforcing your boundaries. Perhaps the most important thing you need to do when setting boundaries with your narcissistic boyfriend is to be consistent in your boundaries and the enforcement of violations. Any deviation from the enforcement of boundary violations will be seen by the narcissist as evidence of weakness. They will exploit that by continuing to push the boundary time and time again. To achieve the goal of modifying the way your narcissistic boyfriend treats you, you must stay consistent. If you say that you will walk out of the room if he starts calling you names, for example, then you must do that every time it happens. This sounds easy, but sometimes you might not want to push the fight forward, or you might be in a forgiving mood. During those times, you might think that you can just overlook the violation this one time, if you do, however, you're opening the door for more violations. Narcissists are very observant, and they will notice the failure to enforce the boundary and use it against you in the future. Staying consistent is vital to setting good boundaries with a narcissist. That means doing what you have said you will do every time he violates the boundary. Give him a written document. To help yourself stay consistent and to prevent your narcissistic boyfriend from claiming he didn't know it was a problem for you, it's best to give him a written document of your boundaries and the consequences for violations. This is vital to setting boundaries with any kind of narcissist. They will often try to claim they didn't know it was something upsetting to you or that they didn't know what the consequence would be. This is an attempt to manipulate the situation and avoid responsibility for their actions. If you write down every boundary and the consequences for violations of that boundary, they can't make this claim. It will also help you keep yourself accountable. It can act as a guide, too, so that you can act at the moment you notice the violation without hesitation. If your boyfriend tries to claim he didn't know, Simply remind him of the written document you provided to him and enforce the boundary. Over time, he will modify his behavior. Include plenty of alone time. When you're involved with a narcissist, you're going to need plenty of time alone. You need to get away from the toxic behavior to help yourself process any emotions you're having after interacting with a narcissist. Your narcissistic boyfriend likely won't want you to have time alone, as that can undermine his efforts to control and manipulate you. But this is something you need to insist on, and you need to follow through. You'll find that you're in a better mindset when you do interact with him if you've had time to yourself. 
It helps you clear your mind and process your emotions. That's essential for your psychological and emotional well-being. Insist on civility. You should insist on civility at all times from your narcissistic boyfriend, and you should provide the same for him. It's easy to become emotional when you're in a romantic relationship, but respecting each other's humanity is vital for staying civil. Yelling, name-calling, and threatening each other are all ways that arguments can become uncivil and abusive. When that kind of behavior takes over your romantic relationship, it is likely doomed to failure. If you genuinely want to save your relationship, you must insist on civility, no matter how tense the situation becomes. You must be able to treat one another with respect and kindness to continue on together. No abuse ever. Along with civility, physical and emotional abuse are not acceptable in a romantic relationship either. Certainly, both you and your narcissistic boyfriend have the right to express your needs and ask for compromises that ensure both sides get their needs met. Sometimes a discussion regarding needs can become emotional, manipulative, and even physically threatening. When emotions run high, it's easy to cross a line, but you simply can't accept that kind of behavior on either side. If the argument is escalating to that degree, it's time to take a break. Go for a walk to clear your head, sleep on it, or go do something else for a while. Abusive treatment is not something you can ever accept, or the situation is likely to get worse. This has to be a strong boundary that you enforce consistently. No one should be subjected to abusive treatment in a healthy relationship. You should both be able to discuss your needs and have the other party listen with loving attention. Anything short of that requires a strong boundary. Push for therapy. The most hope you can have for making real, lasting change in your narcissistic boyfriend's behavior and your relationship together is through professional psychotherapy. A therapist can help the two of you find better, more compassionate ways to communicate. They can also help you deal with processing your emotions, and they may be able to help your narcissistic boyfriend reduce his narcissistic behaviors and increase his level of empathy. Most narcissists don't change unless they have experienced long-term, intense psychotherapy. If you can convince your narcissistic boyfriend to go to therapy with you, it's probably the best hope you have for salvaging your relationship. It will take time to see real differences, but by learning how to communicate with one another in a healthier way, you can see big changes that may help save your relationship. Therapy can help narcissists to understand the inner turmoil they are constantly experiencing, and it can help them adjust their behavior to be more loving and empathetic. It can also help them understand the origins of their personality disorder which is a vital step for making real change. If you have a narcissistic boyfriend, you have a real challenge on your hands. They can be extremely charming in the early stage of your relationship, but that usually changes rapidly and for the worse. It can become extremely abusive if you don't set and maintain acceptable boundaries. What's more, your boyfriend will use your own emotional wounds against you as a manipulation tool, so it can be dangerous for you to get too close to him. There is, however, another way to prevent that from happening. As I went through my own healing journey to recover from the narcissistic abuse I suffered at the hands of my mother, I discovered that when I was able to diffuse my emotional triggers, I could prevent her from using them against me. I created a five-step roadmap to heal emotional triggers to help you do the same thing I did. I can assure you it works. This free guide will help you identify, diffuse, and even heal your emotional triggers so your narcissistic boyfriend or any other narcissist can't use them against you ever again. If you would like a copy of this guide, just click on the link below the video and I'll send it directly to your inbox. Thanks for watching.